You join us in the first class lounge at Newcastle Station. What are we doing here? Well, this weekend between Newcastle and York, there is engineering works, which means the LNAR services are being diverted by the Durham coast, which doesn't happen very often, so... Why not do it first class? Hey! Let's do it! I also can't forget to mention we are also joined by Jamie today for this trip. It's going to be a fun time, so let's, uh, let's enjoy the first class lounge first and then we'll head off to our train. Right, I've got my uh, mug and tea bag here. Let's get ourselves a cup of tea. Perfect. There we go. Very nice. Brew acquired. So I believe we're here a bit early, aren't we? What time is our train due? Well, our train's due in at 13.57, uh, leaving at 14.01, so we've got about an yeah. hour now. Well, we can, we can, we can chill. chill. Why not? We can do some chilling. So I believe you two can now collectively name everything on the mural here. So but we'll uh, try. So I'll start go. with the, the castles. We've got Annick Castle, you've got Lindisfarne, the Berwick upon Tweed Viaduct, Bambra Castle, Durham Cathedral, Durham Castle, Tynemouth Priory, St. Mary's Lighthouse, the Puffins for the Farne Islands, Blythe Beach House, Arbea Fort, South Shield, so shields, Bands and Park, Durham Donald Gates, Durham Town itself, Durham Library, Beamish entrance there, Angel Monument, Angel of the North, Spanish Lady Bay, the words of Shields, Channel Town Entrance, Monument, the Royal, St. James Park, Central Station, Isle Bridge, Newcastle Cathedral, Oldwick Art Museum in Gateshead, the Malmaison, the Millennium Bridge, the Sage, Tyne Bridge, Northumberlandia, and Inazuma. Hey, Pride Train! Woo! We love! Unfortunately, we're not actually getting that train because it is a nine coach 801 which won't really work on the unelectrified Durham coast. So here we've got uh, Jamie's ranking of the um, shortbreads that there are. In the, the best. <laughs> the worst. Accor according to his opinion. It's yes. only opinion. I like the chop chip <laughs> ones and I'll accept them. No, honestly, I, these can, I can agree with you. Are elite. As for uh, complimentary snacks you can get in here, you've got the shortbread selection. Uh, you can also get some of these uh, crisps here and both still and sparkling water. It tastes like TV static. <laughs> <laughs> so this is sort of basically everything from the first class lounge now, so I suppose we will see you when our train pulls in. Right, here's our area. Nice. Right, we're off. So we're taking this to York, down the Durham coast. It's supposed to take about two hours, I believe. So yeah, we can enjoy this. I found for me, at least personally, with these headrests, sort of moving them down and putting them sort of at the top of my back seems to actually be more comfortable than putting it by my head. I'm liking that. So, we're coming past Gated Stadium now. That is the metro station there. So we run alongside the metro. Hopefully, we can catch one before we join the metro line at Pilo. That's Felgate Metro we've just gone by. Very <laughs> soon arriving at Hewith Metro Station. Hewith Metro and National Rail Platforms. So, on LNR first class trains, there are three different tiers of the menu um, deli, dish, and dine. Ours initially was meant to be the dish, but it's been changed to a deli. Uh, delis do like little sandwiches and stuff, uh, and dine, reading to an onboard chef actually cooking the meals. Honestly, that doesn't really matter to me. I'll take any free food I can possibly get at any chance. So we're passing through Sunderland right now. We're not actually calling here, but. Uh, yeah, normally LNER does come here once in the morning, once in the evening, um, but you know that that's when it's an actual service. This is, of course, a diversion, so we're just passing through the station. So now we're through Sunderland. We're on like proper non LNER territory. So uh, yeah, this shall be uh, an interesting time. Right, it's time I uh, dig into my scran. Here we are. I've got the uh, New York deli sandwich. We are kind of on the wrong side for the views of the sea, but it's, it still looks nice from here. It's pretty nice. Here's a Hartley pool down here. 
normally served by like Northern and Grand Central, but we're, we're sort of uh, barging our way in with LNER. So they brought the uh, hot drinks tray down finally. I've got my cup of tea at last and you've got your brownie. Yeah, I, well, I've been wanting one for so long because while well, they're gluten free and I can't really have many other different snacks and it does live up to the hype, I, I can say Nice. That. At long last you finally got your brownie. <laughs> Congratulations. Stockton Station, just past there. It used to be a lot grander of a station, I think. It used to have like a big roof over the top of it and yeah, it's now just it's a shadow of its former self. Cheers. Mind your manners. Mind your manners. So we are on the approach to North Allerton. Once we get there, we'll be off the diversionary route and we'll be back on the normal East Coast main line again. And with that, we are back on the East Coast main line. So now we're at North Allerton. There have been so many like pathing allowances that have been given to this train. So we're having to stay here for about 15 minutes before we can move again. I guess it's probably just, you know, to ensure that we don't mess up any other services that are meant to be down there. So we're now on our approach to York and I've enjoyed my experience here in first class, but what did you guys think? And for me, honestly, yeah, I think it's worth it as well. Plenty of free food and drink we've been given. I like the uh, headrests we've got and yeah, slightly comfier seats, the recline, it's all good. This is my first time in LNER first class. I did do uh, TPE class 185 first class between Manchester and Sheffield, but this is definitely better in my opinion with all the stuff you get, I think. And well, we're coming up to York. Very nice trip. Let's uh, get ready to get off. Thank you. All right, well, we're in York now, and you say we can actually still use our tickets to go into the first class lounge in York as well. Yeah, you have two hours before your train at Newcastle, and then you have one hour after your train at your final destination. All right, well, let's, uh, we're not quite done yet. Let's go to the first class lounge at York. All right, here's the first class lounge right here. Let's take a look. Right, York first class lounge, here we are. Very nice. Got some nice sofas and a TV with some lovely fish tank visuals. How, uh, how, how brilliant. I, I feel like being sat here having some sort of like therapy session from you two. <laughs> or, some, or, or an interview. Either, either or. I don't know. So Nick, why do you believe you deserve the job? Um, uh, that's a good question. Yeah. That's why I asked it. I'll, I'll think <laughs> about it. <laughs> I, I, I do very good in job interviews, if you can't tell. Apparently they've got, like, eat at your seat here as well. Yeah, it seems that. You're in Coach York. <laughs> oh, in, co in Coach York, yes. Let's hmm. try it. Let's see what happens. So this is what it comes to, and I guess you get some free things, but and then you can pay extra to get, say, Pepsi, Kit Kats, some other snacks, which is kind of cool that they have the extra opp opportunities to get these things. Anyway, yes, uh, this is the first class lounge at York. Let's uh, head outside the station. Wow, our train we were on still hasn't left. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Brief venture into York, because why not? We have some time. So you say this is sort of ge the general area of like the old York station before yeah, that one? Yeah, roughly. Um, somewhere inside of the castle walls like we are now was the area of the old York station. Great, great. The Grand Hotel was the original LNAR offices. They moved and now they're back in this building just behind us. Very nice. But yeah, so, first class down the Durham coast. <laughs> we did it. Thank you two for joining me. It's been a good time. Ooh. Thanks for having so me. So yeah, I will uh, see you in the next video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and yes, see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. And of course, a huge shout out to all of my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. And a very warm welcome to my new standard premium patron, Golf by Rail. Thank you all very much for supporting the channel.